I don't run back to get my face covering. Just caught the train. <laughs> So this video today is a little bit different and it's not only the location where you don't see me sitting in my typical YouTube studio. Nice to see you. A few days ago, my best friend Marcus told me that he needed a break and he was going off to Madeira. And despite the fact that I had so much to do, I wanted to do work on my website in the next YouTube video, I decided I want to join him. I haven't seen him for a few years, so this was a great opportunity. And along the way, I noticed something. I noticed a few benefits of slowing down. The first one, right obvious here, where slowing down allows you to differentiate between what's urgent and what's important. Yes, I could have continued to work on the things that I was doing right now, but important was being there for my friend. Important was to build a connection and enjoying the process. And in a way, this is part of what this video channel is about, to not only slow down, but to create a life that's aligned with your purpose, to create a career that integrates into your life. One of the best ways to do that is by slowing down. So let's go on to this journey. Another benefit of slowing down is that you may find some of the alleyways that otherwise you would miss. This is why I love hiking so much. It teaches us that the destination is important, can give us a great sense of achievement, but the journey matters too. And the more you enjoy the journey, the more you also have the ability to integrate your career into your life. Adrenaline can be very good. It helps us perform at peak performance and think on the spot when we are in danger. So when I was riding around the island to get up to Pico Rivua uh, to do some star photos, I had to go to Santana and I stopped at this bridge where there was hundreds of people on top of the bridge. So what's going on here? I saw this race going on. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So surprised to see that. But if you're constantly on adrenaline, it can become addictive. The external validation, the success, the achievements that you get from it. But the one thing that it doesn't do is give you mental clarity. It helps you to think on the spot and react to everything that's right in front of us. But what it doesn't do is give you the mental clarity to create a strategy. And if you want to create a courageous career, you need to slow down. You need to have that mental clarity, the ability to form a strategy around things that you do in your job, about your career and about your life. It's quite interesting. Many of us actually enjoy the life in the fast lane. We think about the external validation, the thrill, the success and the achievements. And while pursuing all of that, we often lose our connection to a sense of purpose. We forget why we started to do these things in the first place. The easiest way to reconnect is by slowing down. Maybe by sitting in nature and listening to the crickets, to the sounds of waves in the background. And suddenly we remember why we are on this journey. We remember how we best add value to the lives of others or society in general. And that reinvigorates us for even greater success and, frankly, even a greater thrill in life. Good morning. The goal for today is very simple. It is Saturday. Marcus is going home, so dropping him off at the airport and uh, before doing that, I'll meet him for breakfast, actually right now. And then we probably look at a couple of places around the airport, just for a little bit of sightseeing before we go. But maybe you ask, what does that have to do with slowing down? Dropping 
Marcus of at the airport made me realize how important it is to live in the moment. Yes, we all make plans for the future. We plan for our careers, for our jobs, to have a good life. But at the same time, slowing down helps us to enjoy the moments more. And the one thing that I realized is that it creates an enormous amount of gratitude. Here's something else that happens when we slow down. We receive more inspiration. Looking down on the sea and the bridge and everything that's around here, and it shows me the insignificance of ourselves. And despite the insignificance, every single one of us creates value in this world. And when we take time to slow down and receive inspiration by looking at new information, and that new information gives us new notes in the brain, we come up with solutions that otherwise would be closed off to us. Let me tell you, things will still be there when you come back. We have this fear that if we don't pursue our goals every single day, we may miss out, we won't ever achieve them. And of course, if we don't put in the work once in a while, then we will never achieve them. But slowing down is something different. Slowing down means creating the mental capacity to deal with change, creating the space that you need to pursue your goals more effectively and also rejuvenating your body and reigniting the creativity. When you come back, things will still be there, but you might have changed. Mommy,